What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel. And last week was San Diego Comic Con 2022. And man, there was some amazing stuff shown off by WWE and AEW. I have to say it was probably the best San Diego Comic Con um, in a very long time. That said, of course, many pre-orders went up, which means the Fig Heel spent a ton of money. So I'm going to go over everything I bought, how much I spent, and we're going to total it all up in the end. All right, so first up is the ShopAEW.com, one of 3,000 John Moxley figure. These were up for six hours, the easiest to get of these limited, quote-unquote, figures. And it came to a staggering $58.98. A little steep if you ask me, but I already have the rest of the set, so I had to pick it up. Next up, Ringside Collectibles put up the Owen Hart exclusive. You know I had to pick that up. The first Owen Hart figure that has been available for purchase in the first in 20-something years. And it came to $39.99, which I kind of expected for this. And you can use code FIGHEEL to save 10%. However, on the exact same order I picked up, the CM Punk debut ringside collectibles exclusive, and that came to $39.99 as well. Bundling them together, I was able to get free shipping. I put in a separate order for Unmatched Series 5. I wasn't going to get it, but I caved. It has Sean Spears, Brian Danielson, the LJN, um, Darby Allen. It's got Red Velvet, Sammy Guevara, and Kenny Omega, and this came to a whopping... $166.91 with free shipping. Next thing I know, Target.com puts up the Legends exclusive Ultimate Macho Man Randy Savage, which I need. And that came to $22.44. Because I have a red card, I get 5% off, free shipping, and I had $10 and some odd cents in credits. Immediately after that, Walmart.com puts up Superstar Series 3, which I love. It has Papa Shango. It has this incredible mankind. And of course, one of my favorites, the green suit, Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. So this came to $127.76. Why, you may ask? Well, because I need two of each, one to keep mint on card and one to open. Next thing I know, back to Target because they put up Legend Series 16 and they had Molly Holly, which I need two of because there's a chase. So I need a chance at the chase. Then they also have the Acolytes, the first ever Acolytes, and I couldn't not get these. It has Bradshaw, so I picked up Bradshaw. I picked up Farouk, and of course I picked up the ECW style Rey Mysterio. And all of these five figures came to a grand total of one hundred and eleven dollars and thirty seven cents damn so then i go back over to walmart.com because they put up superstar series three undertaker which i need two of and they came to a total of forty two dollars and fifty nine cents free shipping because i bundled Literally immediately after that, they put up Superstar Series 2 Ultimate Warrior. Had to pick up two, and that came to another $42.59. At that point, I thought I was done for the day, so I went to the gym. And what do I know? This pops up on Target.com. It's the Raw 30th Anniversary set with Razor Ramon, Undertaker, and the 123 Kid. And this massive set came to... $65.83 shipped with my red card discount and free shipping. At this point, I was feeling frisky. I wasn't going to get Ruthless Aggression Series 2 Elites from Walmart.com, but I figured why not. I picked up Ray. I picked up the NWO Booker T. And of course, I picked up Rob Van Dam. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this set, whether I'm going to open them, but they came to... $70.32 shipped from walmart.com. Then to finish out Thursday, Hasbro Pulse put up the classified G.I. Joe Sergeant Slaughter, and this came to $43.69 shipped. Quite steep for me. Not a G.I. Joe guy, but I needed this. Friday morning came, and I had to pick up the No Holds Barred pack, and this came to a total of... 
$156.69 because I had to get two. I really want to open one and I also want to keep one mint in box for my SDC display. Once I finished that order, I had to head back into Mattel Creations and pick up the Ultimate Cody that is going to ship next July. Uh, I didn't want to risk putting it on the same order as the No Holds Barred because I knew that I would miss out on them. So two separate orders, had to pay shipping again, and this came to a total of $55.39. Pretty steep for, in my opinion, a kind of basic looking Ultimate I'm guessing he's going to come with the entrance jacket, though, which would definitely put it over the top for me. And I almost forgot my boy Fig Vault picked up one of the Vinny Mates exclusives from Diamond Select Toys of CM Punk and Sting. And this came to a total of $32, even because we split shipping. He got one. I got one. I'm leaving happy. Speaking of leaving happy... I am super thrilled with all of the amazing action figures that I have come in my way in the next year because of all of my SDCC pre-orders. Now remember, all of this money is not coming out of my account immediately because some of these companies, they don't take it out until they ship. But let's move on to the total. Drum roll, please. $1,076.54. That is a lot of cheddar for a two-day span, but I'm getting a ton of figures that if I waited, I would have paid well over that in the long run on eBay, on whatnot, Mercari, whatever you want to consider because a lot of these are hot items. Some of these I might end up canceling, like the Legends. I might find them in stores before the pre-order ships. Same thing with Ruthless Aggression. Some of these Walmart and Target pre-orders will end up getting canceled if I find them first. But in the end, I'm still paying the retail price. But these exclusives, you don't want to miss out on. Like the Sergeant Slaughter, like the CM Punk, like the Vinny Mates, like the No Holds Bar, the Cody Rhodes. So comment below. Let me know what you spent. Let me know what you got. Let's talk about it. Now, if you did not spend this much, that's okay. I plan for this ahead, months ahead, and I keep putting money into my um, PayPal account so that I can afford this every San Diego Comic-Con because I know that a lot of stuff comes out and I like to be prepared for things like this. So yeah, for the future, if that's what you're into and you missed out on some things, try to prepare ahead. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at FigHeel. Pick up my new book, The Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist. Go to prowrestlingtees.com slash FigHeel. And if you want to join Whatnot, you can get $10 towards your first purchase by clicking the link in the description below. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heel's Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, a 500 plus page guide to over 50 years of wrestling figure collecting, featuring over 2,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands in wrestling history. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, as well as mint on card and loose value. With a forward by professional wrestler Matt Cardona and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist is a must-have for collectors. Premium full-color and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Check out my official sponsor, Whatnot, by clicking the link in the description to join and save $10 on your first purchase.